Hello, my name is Carlos Diaz Ruiz, and I'm Assistant Professor of Marketing at Hanken School of Economics. Hello, my name is Thomas Nilsson. I'm a senior lecturer in marketing at Linnaeus University, the School of Business and Economics. Uh, this is a short introduction to our research paper on disinformation in echo chambers. The main problem that we are trying to address is a circulation of disinformation and misinformation in social media, especially in YouTube. We believe that there is a problem here, and the problem is, is a mistake to treat uh, people who espouse these beliefs as either crazy or ignorant. We try to understand um, more about their argumentative strategies, the way that they talk to each other in order to convince their audience, we draw from something called rhetoric theory. Rhetorical theory is, is very useful in, in, in this context because it doesn't focus on the psychology of the person sharing or doing this, uh, this information uh, activities. It focuses on the, the, the argument the person puts forward. We studied uh, a, a very controversial group called flat earthers. They believe that the earth is flat. Uh, they are radicalizing their audience um, because they build their arguments based on identity. So we studied videos and we studied uh, how they frame their arguments in order to make themselves persuasive. The reason why we do this is because we see that most of the strategies in social media are about fact-checking whether certain argument is uh, correct or, or incorrect. And yet these groups are highly resistant to fact-checking to their own audiences. They are very much rational. So we try to understand their rationality. This is a case of open radicalization in the sense that uh, several groups that do the same type of structure can be found in terrorist groups or other uh, more, much more problematic groups. But the flat earthers are open in the sense that they are actively building their arguments in social media and they are to an extent harmless. Uh, we did that to understand what can we learn to fight conspiracy theories and disinformation. And we found that what these groups do is that they build on identity. They have three main arguments. The first argument is about uh, Christianity. They try to build themselves on the side of Christians trying to fight atheists. By doing so, they don't need to prove that the earth is flat. They just need to prove that their view is compatible with uh, uh, military Christian beliefs. A second point is conspirational. What they do is that they build on pre-existing mistrust against the so-called elites, and they present their view as an entry conspiracy that can explain multiple other conspiracies. The third point appeals to people who they see themselves as free thinkers. They don't want the elites to tell them what to think and what not to think. So they try to build arguments that appeal to the senses about whether people can see by themselves whether the earth is, is, is uh, flat or, or spherical. Since people cannot see the curvature in daily day life, they appeal to this naive empiricism as something that it's highly believed. And by understanding how uh, this group made their argument credible to their audiences, we can understand the limits of fact-checking and we can understand how this information builds less on falsehoods and more on pre-existing identity grudges. 